Bookworms Horror Podcast is sponsored by Creepy Crate. Creepy Crate is a horror and true crime subscription box filled with spooky collectibles, macabre accessories, and terrifying goodies. Each bi-monthly box is filled with over $85 of terror and includes at least one horror or true crime book. This box delivers dread to your doorstep for just $39.99 with free shipping. Go to creepycrate.store to subscribe. Use the code bookworm5 at checkout to get $5 off your subscription. That's bookworm5 for $5 off your subscription. And now to the show. Welcome to the Bookworms Horror Podcast, where we provide valuable tips and insights for those interested in writing within the horror genre. I'm James Zippolitti, host of the Real Demons of Pop Culture Podcast, and as always, I will be sharing with you my discussions with Regina St. Clair, a Wadi Award-winning author renowned for her exceptional horror novels and multiple screenwriting awards, including a Webby honoree. Regina is also the contributing editor of the acclaimed Local Haunts, a horror tube anthology, and can be found sharing her expertise on her booktube channel, Regina's Haunted Library, and her blog, rstclair.com. Together, we are the editors of the Bookworms Horror Zine, and we're thrilled to have you with us. Today, I have a short episode for you, and talking with Regina about social media and how we handle it. I have a large following on TikTok, but you'll see that I really don't get into it to a place where it becomes harmful. The point we're trying to make in this is get your work done, find your community, and enjoy that community. But don't fall down any rabbit holes in the social media world. Let's give a listen. The biggest misconception is that if you want to be like promoting your work that you have Mm. to be watching all that stuff and like not just the news like i'm not talking about news for getting ideas but like if people are like tiktok i'm like i don't not on tiktok i i put stuff on there which i'm switching over to like i'm gonna give youtube shorts a try because i think that oh yeah it's getting more attention but i post and i walk away i you know if someone has something nice to say like on bookworms we're getting a lot of great stuff but Assuming bookworms on Instagram gets to like 20,000, like I will comment on people who are nice, but I don't look at negative stuff. Like somebody comes and says, you suck. I don't, yeah. I don't look at that. But you know, people are getting smarter about that kind of stuff too. Like it, it's become, talk about rules. The online culture has developed its own set of rules. And, you know, I think we, before we would get drawn into something that now we're like, ah, they're just a troll or yep. just... You know, this is stupid. It's a waste of time. Yep. I, I've definitely limited my online time. You know, like I'll post on, I'll do my YouTube post. And then I always try to watch a couple of my friends' YouTube channels, uh, you know, like their latest videos and stuff and comment. Because right. I like that conversation and like to show support. But I'm not on Facebook like I used to be or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't think people are. And I think they what people are doing now is they find their communities they participate in those communi- communities and that's a very healthy way of handling this instead of, instead of trying to run around and see everything. Yes. And I also don't do Twitter and I think I I'm happier either. for that. I, I literally like, <laughs> that's a weird <laughs> stopped it completely. I never, never got it to begin with. Yeah. So I have a Twitter account, but I never use it. And then once like Elon Musk took over and it was getting really bizarre Mm. I was like, I'm done. And now I use the Substack notes, which I haven't figured that out yet. But Yeah. And, you know, I, I know, like, the, in the, there's a lot of people in the horror community on Twitter. But I don't know. I honestly don't know if that is really helping. Now, I might be wrong just because I'm like, well, I'm not on it. So it doesn't you don't need to be on it. But I don't know if that if you really are selling books through Twitter is my point. You know, like you might be connecting with people. I don't know. It might help somewhat but I don't know if that is really the best place to to connect with readers well, maybe I, other, other writers maybe yeah that's the that's the hard part like you know when you just got a bunch of people trying to sell their books in the, to other people trying to sell their books yeah you're not really selling books 
I agree. I don't think you are selling books that way. All right. I said it was short, and it is short. But we will have some more in-depth conversations coming up next week. I just wanted to share very quick thoughts that Gina and I had on how we handle social media. Your first job is to write. It is not to be online and chatting with people. You should be writing. And then, if you want to, jump onto your social media platforms after you've hit your quota for the day. Do not let people get you down. Do not listen to trolls. Do your work and then reward yourself by saying hello to some of your online friends. You can find all our links in the show notes and you can even buy the book scene if you haven't yet on Etsy. All this will be in the links in the show notes. Until next week, stay spooky. Bookworms is a Gorilla Delphia production. Yeah!